So this is part two of setting up the AeroQuad software with our quadcopter. So we just calibrated the gyroscope and now we're going to do accelerometer calibration. So I'm going to click this accelerometer calibration button in the AeroQuad software and it's just going to ask me to place the quad just on a flat level surface where it won't be disturbed so it can just measure all of the readings from the accelerometer. And so that takes about 10 seconds. And it's just reading in all the data, so because the accelerometer tends to um, have different readings over the course of a time, so it just makes sure that all those readings are set to the same amount of gravity. So now it's asking me to flip the quad over and then take another accelerometer reading. So I'm going to click OK again. And that'll take another few seconds. And then once that's done, we're going to flip it onto its left side. So you can see our quad has been marked with some tape here to indicate the front. So the left side is going to be on this side. So I'm just going to lean it against my knee. Preferably a table or something more stable would be better, but this will work. And then click OK. And so it'll take a reading from the accelerometer while it's at this angle. And now I'm going to do it on the right edge. So I'm going to flip that over like this. Click OK again. OK. That's done. So now it wants me to go on the rear edge down. So for us, just make sure that the tape is facing upwards. Click OK. Now the front edge needs to be down. Click OK for that. And that is done. All right, so I'll just put it back down on the floor and then click OK one more time. And now it's going to save and store the calibration data. So it's pretty straightforward, not anything too complicated, but now we can that it's been calibrated, I can move up here to the 3D view, and I can see that the copter's there. And if I turn the copter, flip it around, you can see that the, the status indicator, or the 3D view, also reflects its position. So uh, if I don't do that, then it'll be shaking constantly in this 3D view, and this stabilizes it out and makes it a bit more accurate. So that's how to, how to calibrate the accelerometer.